Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to a very wordy holiday. Uh, it is now December 21st. Uh, we have been uh, playing word games all December. It's been a blast, and we're going to keep doing it through the rest of the month. It is time for Dordle on the rotation. Uh, I've got a bit of a sweet tooth today, so I'm going to try the word candy. Uh, there we go. Let's see what candy gets me. Ooh, candy gets me a C and an A in position on the right and an A out of position on the left. Uh, pretty good start, if you ask me. Uh, okay, let's see what we've got here. How about, oh, I know what I want to do. Oh, this is going to be full of really good letters. How about the word south? Let's go with south. Uh, south gets me, okay, well, it gets me a T in position on the left and nothing else. Uh, a little surprised at the lack of progress. Uh, let's see. I know what I can do here is another, uh, eval. How about the word grime? That'll get me the I and the E, uh, and of course, uh, G, R, and M. That feels like that's probably going to be super productive. Got a funny feeling about that. What does grime get me? Okay. Again, seems to be a pattern with Dordle, uh, on Very Word or Holidays. You're getting these little incremental improvements. We now have T and E in position with an A out of position on the left. In the C and the A in position in an I out of position on the right. Okay, uh, say that three times fast. Okay, so uh, I feel like maybe the A is probably going to be in the third spot uh, on the left puzzle. Oh, you know what immediately comes to my mind is the word plate for the left. We would get A intel and we would get P and L evaluated, which I think has some good value. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with plate. If nothing else, we'll get the A locked. So what do we get with plate? Uh, we get the A, T, and E locked in. Okay. Uh, and we get an L joining the party on the right side, out of position. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. What do we do? On Well, I think I am going to focus for the moment on solving the mystery of the left puzzle, uh, I wonder if it's a bait because I don't see a good, compelling two consonant combination among what I have left, even if you take the T, the double T is a possibility. Um, I gotta tell you, that's that's looks pretty compelling to me. Um, yeah, I don't see any good, again, two consonant combinations here. So I think that's going to I think it's going to be a tricky one there. There's a double A. I'm going to go with it. And of course we evaluate the B. There's nothing wrong with that. So, yep, there it is. It is a bait. Okay. And of course we've now got a little side benefit of knowing there is only one A on that right puzzle. And so we have two guesses at this one. We have C A in position, I and L out of position. Uh, so let's see, what makes sense? We know the I is in the fourth or the fifth spot. If I had to guess, I would say that the I is probably in the fourth spot. So let's do a quick visualization here. Uh, we'll just put the X here for now, the I here. Um, and so the L is going to be in the third or the fifth in this model. Uh, I don't see, see, here's the problem that we're having. I don't see any good way to come up with a word with the L in the third or the fifth spot with that I in the in the fourth position. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, and I and I honestly am not really necessarily seeing anything particularly compelling with the I in the fifth position either. So I feel like I have no choice here but to try and figure out, I mean, we have to figure out where that I and the L are pretty quickly strategies to employ. Um, if we do one eval word, it's got to probably end with the with the I and the L. That would lock in the I, and it would give us probably a 50-50 of where, well, probably give us a really good idea of where the L is. Uh, so I guess we could also be lucky enough to Try one of the, one consonant. Uh, I feel like I'm feeling like the word frail because it will test the I and the L. Uh, yeah, that probably makes sense because we'll definitely get the I. We're only going to get one guess at this, but if we get the I locked in and maybe the L locked in, it should make it at least easier. 
So I'm going to go with frail for eval here. I'm a little worried that maybe it's a word I don't know. I'm starting to worry about that. But what do we get with frail? All right, we get the I and the L locked in. We've got it locked in. So we now have C-A blank I-L. <laughs> so let's see here. Uh, it's not the Q. It's not the W. It's not the J. I don't think C-A-K-I-L is a word. Uh, it's not Kazil. It's not Caxil because it's red. Cavil? C-A-V-I-L? Uh, C-A-C-I-L? C-A-L-I-L? None of these are words I'm familiar with, but obviously one of them is the answer. <laughs> That's the dilemma sometimes that we have here. I think we had that last time we played Dordal as it was a word I didn't know, but it was, uh, you know, I mean, I know this is a little bit, yeah, okay, so it's definitely not the W. Um, it's not the J. Uh, it's not the K. <laughs> Could it be the V? Yeah, see, there we go. That's a valid word, C-A-V-I-L. I know that's a little shady, just pumping them in one at a time, but it is in bounds for Dordal. You are allowed to do that. So I think once again, I think we found here's a word I don't know, but it's got to be the answer. <laughs> so is the answer uh, the word cavil? Yes, it is. A bait and cavil. Uh, my goodness. And for, I think, the second time now that Dordal's come up, we, we took it right to the limit. Well, folks, uh, I hope you guys are taking it to the limit on the holidays when you're celebrating, having a great time. And uh, as always, we'll be back tomorrow with some more very wordy holiday.